This is your second stimulus check update. You're going to get a stimulus check update. You want to know why? Because it's an election year and Trump has done the calculation. Part of what's going to happen, there will be a second stimulus check. Donald Trump has gone on record and said there will be a second stimulus check. It will be very generous, whatever that means. So there will be a second stimulus check because that has been the holdup, Donald Trump. Before I put out many videos, there wouldn't be a second stimulus check because Donald Trump did not want to do it. And now Donald Trump has said there will be a second stimulus check check. So the GOP who is afraid of Donald Trump and they're afraid of his base, they're going to cut America another check. There will be a second stimulus check proposal. Now, what will this contain and how will this look? Because this is the miracle of an election year. This is what this is like. I'm going to go ahead and make a few assumptions. Trump looked at the poll numbers. He looked at this dismal rally with all these empty seats. And he was like, I need to do something. So what I feel is they're going to drag the approval of the second stimulus check into August. Now, why is that important? Because every political person who has studied the math knows that America pays attention to what happens 90 days before the election. You know, Donald Trump being impeached, that's a distant memory. Donald Trump doing all of these crazy stuff, Charlottesville, that was years ago. There's been so many bad things that Donald Trump has done that people cannot even remember because we're now in a position where we have moved on from that. So this 90 day window is very important. So what they're going to try to do is get it approved and get these stimulus checks delivered August, September and October. Now the Democrats have gone ahead and put out a clause where Donald Trump can't put his names on the stimulus checks anymore, but you know, he's going to shape it up where America, I, Donald J. Trump gave you a second stimulus check. And let's talk about what's going to be in this second stimulus check proposal. None of these generous, because even though Donald Trump used the word, it's going to be very generous. More than likely, it's going to be another one time payment of 1200 bucks. Based upon the anguish, based upon how people flipped out, based upon the fact that there are many people who have not received their $1,200, that seems to be the magic number. Now, here is something that you should think about. We have been here before. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR. What kind of stimulus proposals did he put that literally pulled the country out of the Great Depression? Do you know that the Golden Gate Bridge, which was an FDR project, was built in 1933, 34, 35, 36. It took them four years to build it. Route 66 was built out. See, the FDR stimulus proposals were radically different than the stimulus proposals that, you know, because American people were really, really hurt. The Great Depression took a lot of people out. It literally took 10 years for us to work our way out the Great Depression and for the markets to return to normal, 10 years. So hopefully we will see some infrastructure proposals into the stimulus package. Because if I was the president and I was Congress, I would look at projects around the country that need to be done. We have roads that are in a state of disrepair. We have buildings. We have a lot of infrastructure projects that we could go ahead and use this money and literally put people to work. 
I don't think that's going to happen because I feel that the only reason that we are here, the only reason that we're talking about a second stimulus check is Donald Trump is doing poorly in the polls and his rally was a big old mess. And the fact that he actually had this rally and a lot of people didn't show up. He had this rally, members of his team were COVID-19 positive. And the stock market is doing double monkey backflips. There were, there were so many things, but I feel that we will have a second stimulus check proposal. And I feel that it's gonna take, it won't go through as quick as the first one. That's not gonna happen. They're gonna drag it on because they want this to be fresh in the memories of the American people. They want it to be, yeah, we gave you some money. Yeah, you know, we looking out for you. Donald J. Trump is going to work this like he has not worked anything before. Because remember, Donald didn't want to do a second stimulus check. What made Donald J. Trump change his mind? Was it these bad polling numbers? Was it this dismal rally performance? Was it the fact that, let's take Texas. Texas is opening up, we're doing what we're doing. The, this is what the Texas governor said, that the skyrocketing cases were unacceptable. This is tactically admitting that there is a problem which I predicted it was going to happen. You know, I'm waiting because in Georgia, the infection rate is starting to go up. So, but we, we, we ain't shutting down. This, this, we're, we're not going to shut down. Don't, don't even worry your pretty little head about that buttercup. We're, we're not going to shut down. We're going to just deal with the infections and the people dying and we, we're just going to deal with it. Because for the longest time, people on the GOP side, like people die every day. They did. They're going to die. And this is what they do. But I feel that hopefully that when they put together this second stimulus proposal, that there isn't a lot of fat. There isn't a lot of pork. There isn't a lot of unnecessary spending. But I can go ahead and admit that, hey, since Donald has changed his mind, I got to change my tune. There will be a second stimulus check. There will be a second stimulus proposal. And I honestly feel that if it wasn't for the political pressure, that's on pretty much both parties, because the, you know, the, the Democrats, they want to get the Senate and the presidency. And if they can't get the presidency, if they get the Senate, that's a big, big win. They could do whatever they want to do. They can run the double monkey backflips around Donald Trump because they get the Senate and the House. Keep the, they maintain the House and they get the Senate. Stimulus checks, stimulus proposals will be all over the place. And like I said, I said I would do a stimulus check video when it became real. And from the lips of Donald J. Trump, yes, there will be a second. Hey, it just got real. It just got real. There's going to be another second sticker because, like I said, the roadblock that was in the way of the second stimulus check, which was Donald J. Trump, has now moved to the side of the road. There is no roadblock. So this thing is going to get worked out. They're going to create a second stimulus check. And you, America, you're going to get you another check. I mean, it, it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting. But let's talk about the lack of COVID-19 conversation in the media. Once George Floyd died and then when Rashad Brooks was killed, it's like people completely forgot COVID-19 was out there lurking in the corners and doing what it does. And this is one of the reasons, like I predict this months ago, I said America was going to have the highest infection rate in the world because of who we are as a people. We are Americans, home of, the, home of the brave, land of the free. We do what we want to do. You can't tell me to stay at home. And it's summertime. 
the sun is shining out there. Like today we've had like two or three rain showers, but now the sun is shining. People want to get out there. People want to go to the beach. They want to feel the sun on their face. They want to get out and they're going to get out. And I think many people have accepted the risk. If I get Corona, I get Corona. That's what it's going to be because you would have not known that there was this pandemic based upon the actions of the last three weeks. Protesters are still coming out. Looters are still coming out. They still doing their thing. George Floyd, Rayshard Brooks, Brianna. They're, they're, they're mentioning all of these people who are no longer with us, unfortunately. And they're still protesting and they still have energy and enthusiasm. Part of the protesting, I believe, is a response to the lockdown. These people have been locked up. They've been in, they've, they've found out about their relationship because this is something else that's happening. You started to see it on Facebook. A lot of people are finding out that they didn't have the relationship they thought because, you know, typically you don't spend a lot of time with your wife. You go to work, you have activities, and you only spend the evenings and the weekends with your wifey. And these folks have been confronted with spending 24 seven with their partner. And this is exposed all times of stuff because I feel that the divorce rate is going to skyrocket once people are able to get divorced. As long as the economy is what it is and people are losing their jobs, they're not going to get divorced. They're going to need, they're like, I don't like this heifer, but she, she brings in a check. She's getting a stimulus check. <laughs> I need it for now. But the minute that I can get rid of her, I'm going to get rid of her. And this is one of the things that you're finding out. Like a few years ago, we had this snowstorm in Atlanta that literally had the city locked down for a week. And I saw the comments on Facebook and what people were talking about. It was only a week. It was only a week. I can only imagine what has happened over these last three months. I can only imagine how people are responding. I can only imagine how crazy it's going to get because another thing that's about to happen is evictions. They've raised the moratorium on evictions because look, I know you don't have no job. I know you can't pay your rent, but by hook or crook, you need to figure out a way to pay your rent because they about to get you up out of there. And this is one of the things that's going to happen. And we've, we've, we've seen this movie before. America's sympathy only goes so deep. Okay, you lost your job because of the pandemic. Okay, okay. You get sympathy for a minute, but the longer this goes on, the sympathy turns to hostility. You need to find a job, man. You need to stop being a deadbeat. I mean, this is America, home of the brave, land of the free. Home of like sooner or later, the people who are working are going to get tired of hearing the people who are not working complain about their situation. This is coming. And once again, with the advent of the second stimulus check, uh, the advent, because like I said, I would not be surprised if they don't get this approved to August because August, October, August, September, and October, very fresh in the minds of the voting public. And I would not be surprised if this is intentionally stretched out to get in that 90 day window because July is too soon for political agendas. It's too soon. We want it to happen in August, August 1st, August 2nd. And oh yeah, the kids are getting ready to go back to school. The parents are like, hallelujah, oh yeah. Except it's gonna be weird. Kids are gonna go back to school because I've been seeing school buses, so they're, they're preparing. And it's gonna be strange because all these kids are gonna go to school with masks on. And I gotta tell you something, wearing a mask sucks. I had to go out and get some blood work done the other day and I had to wear a mask and 
you know, masks makes it difficult to breathe. And I'm just surprised all these people who are driving in the car by themselves wearing the mask. I don't understand that. It's just you. Why are you wearing the mask in your car? And the argument, mask on, mask off, the civil war of the mask, because every day I see people talking about not wearing a mask and how ineffective a mask is. And it has become a civil war. Someone tagged me in a Facebook post where a dude was trying to get in the store and actually got into a physical altercation with the people at the store because he didn't want to wear a mask. You know, how, you know, like I said, you, you have to wear seat belts. No one's losing their mind. You have to buy car insurance. No one's losing their mind. It's just a prophylactic measure, but people are losing their mind. Mask on, mask off. So we got a lot going on. We got the developments of a second stimulus check. We have riots and protests still going down. And we still have people who are being unemployed, who are being laid off. You know, this is the third week of June, so I want to see what the June numbers are going to be, because so far we've already had three, almost four million people lose their jobs. And if the people continue to get laid off and see the first round of the layoffs were due to the corona. This round of layoffs are due to corporate efficiency. See, corporate America is hostile. Corporate America, they don't care about you. It's like, they care about that money. They care about getting that money. And if we have layoffs from now to the end of the year, we're going to have almost 60 million people who have lost their jobs. Highest unemployment ever in the history of the United States of America. And with this, we're going to have evictions and the home home the home the inventory of homes is at an all-time low because people are not selling their houses and home prices are starting to drop just like i predicted i said rents were going to go down and people were like nah rents ain't gonna go down and what happened rents went down so when we have 60 million people out of 160 million people in the working population unemployed, this is going to impact car sales, housing sales, the economy at large, restaurant. This is going to impact everything. And this is why there will not be the V-shaped recovery. You know, all my, all my folks who've been messing with me about this V-shaped recovery because, well, you know, I'm seeing a little bit more traffic on the stock market. They, they starting to shut up because they realized it was a fantasy. It was a game that you were mentally playing because it, it, it wasn't gonna happen, man. There wasn't gonna be no V-shaped recovery. The economic carnage was too much. And you, were, you, you I'm glad that y'all are now starting to see that. Cause I'm like, that was just a fantasy. That was just hope, hope, hope. Kind of like the second stimulus check thing was hope, hope, hope until the Donald got a taste of political reality. And I had mentioned this because I was like, you know, it was an election year. Anything is possible. And here we are. We're going to have a second stimulus check. I'm about to cut y'all a check, man. I ain't getting the check. I didn't get a check the first time. I make too much money. I'm not getting a check the second time either, so I'm not even looking for it. But I'm here to tell you, one of the things that is going to happen is we're going to see something may strange. And also, Donald Trump may get reelected. I don't care what he's done. I don't care what he said. There is still a good chance that Donald Trump, Donald, I walk on water, I turn water to wine. I am the second incarnation of Jesus Christ himself. He could get reelected because I don't care what the polls say. I don't care what the political pundits say. We've already been through this. We've already heard this. And if Donald plays his cards right, he could get reelected. However, he will have a hostile Democratic led House and Senate. I feel that the Democrats are going to flip the Senate 
because the people, you America, you want those stimulus checks and you about to get those stimulus checks because I've been watching these stimulus checks and the stimulus check videos are starting to lose a little steam because people have been tired of like, man, why are you toying with my emotions? I'm over here broke. I'm eating dog food. And you, you keep putting up this proposal that ain't going to happen. But now I think the stimulus check videos are about to heat up and get hot. Meet Kevin is probably going to start doing stimulus check videos again because it's going to become real. It's about to become real. It's uh, you about to get you a check. Hopefully you don't go buy all of the flat screen televisions at Walmart again. But, you know, people are going to do what they're going to do. But yeah, a second stimulus check is a coming. And I don't care how bad Donald Trump does at these rallies and stuff. There's still a good chance this clown can get reelected and have a second term. See, this is one of the things we do at Hustle Company. We deal with truth. You know, I, I have many criticisms of Donald Trump, but there is the reality of the situation. And Donald Trump, kind of like I alluded to, has figured out that from a political standpoint, it's time to issue the folks stacking on the stimulus check. We need to issue these checks. We need to get something going. We need to put some money in the people's hands. So that's what's going on. So this is your second stimulus check update for today. Check it out. I got some more videos for you right here. Be sure to watch them.